Hey guys, it's Peter Jordan with Delta Marine and Outfitters here on the Lost Angler Channel and today we're going to take a look at a new LT25 custom Ginu that we just had come in. This is probably the ultimate cast and blast boat we've ever put together for a number of reasons and we're going to go through and show it to you right now, so hang tight. Okay guys, you can see the boat is a nice olive color. This is going to do really well for any of you guys that are going to plan on hunting in the Delta, uh, shooting some ducks, getting up in there on some public land and want to really get in and explore the area you may not have been able to. So starting at the bow, one of the things we did that I really like is we did the trolling motor bracket with a stick anchor. Now what this is, this is just a nice piece of solid tubing that you can take like a stakeout pole and you can set this in the mud. It's quick, it's quiet, doesn't cost anything to comparatively to like a, a micro power pole or whatever. You've got your trolling motor bracket right up here. Easy take on and off, easy to deal with. Piece of cake. Coming back from here, we have your battery right here. So in this compartment right here, you're gonna have your battery. We're gonna take a look at that in just a second. And then you've got an insulated fish box right here. Now, really cool thing about this, this compartment and this compartment are both insulated. This does a couple things. It reduces sound, uh, adds flotation, and most importantly, it lets all of this drain out. So this way you're not having to go back and go through and chop back anything out. We did a tan interior, so it's not gonna show dirt. It's also kind on the eyes. Like if you're a really sunny day, it's easy to live with. So we're gonna shift positions for uh, one second and let's take a look in the inside. Okay, so just like I was saying, you have your trolling motor battery right up here. This brings this weight to the bow, helps it really plane out really well. It gives a really great weight distribution throughout the boat. This is a great place to put your Coast Guard accessories uh, and things that you're gonna need, like your fire extinguisher horn, PFDs, and all that. I'm a big fan of doing the inflatable PFDs, so I actually have room for mine up here, which I really, really like. And then here, this is that uh, fish box we talked about, and it is huge. And these are super, super dry boxes, guys. I mean, I've been in custom Ginus and just absolute downpours, and no water gets in there. And it is really, really nice, really well done. So next thing we're gonna take a look at, we're gonna come back, we're gonna look at our grab bar. Okay guys, you've got a standalone grab bar, you have to excuse the bugs. This thing literally just got in from Titusville yesterday. Um, what I really like about this, you've got the backrest cushion, so when you set your cooler right here, put yourself in that perfect position to be super comfortable when you're leaning back. We've done other videos talking about seating in there, so take a look at that, it's in the, uh, the custom Ginu uh, playlist, so take a look at it. Our rod holders are mounted further down, so if you remember older boats, the rod holders are up here. These are further down and I really like that fact because now I'm not so nervous about going underneath uh, bridges and what have you. Uh, we're gonna whip it around, we're gonna show you this set. Okay guys, so you can see that we did a color match right here. So this is that same olive green on your electronics box that you have on the outside of the home, it looks really sharp. And I've got access to everything right here that you would on the center console model. So I've got my nav lights right here, anchor lights here, bilge pump, aerator, and then for my spare, I've got the interior lighting in here, which is really, really sharp, really nice setup. Um, but what I like about this is I can mount my electronics. I did a video not too long ago showing how we mount electronics on this. Um, and this gives you a ton of room throughout the entire boat. So let's go look at the back now. Here at the back of the boat, we got a really nice big deck cushion. This makes it really comfortable for you to sit at. Uh, I really like this setup. Uh, this goes on a slide as you can see, and then also it snaps down, so that's easy to get to. I like the fact that I can throw that over like that, and now I've got a place that I can sit here and fish from. So that's one of my big things I like about the boat. Uh, next thing coming from right here, I have my live well. This is a big live well, and the cool thing we did too is when you turn on your uh, courtesy lights, this also turns on the live well lights. That's pretty cool. Coming back from there, this we're like looking at the new uh, Tahatsu 25, and you have trim and tilt right here. That is so convenient, so nice. You're not reaching super far back on that. And will it work for your tiller extensions? Yeah, it will because you've got that gap in there. We'll take a look at that in just a minute. And then from right here, I've got access to my gas, fuel water separator, bilge pump, live oil pumps. Everything is really easy to get to and really well done. Let's take a look at the polling platform and the motor be on the safe side I went ahead and put on a tiller extension this is a helmsman tiller extension this is the one I use um, and as you can see I can still access my trim and tilt from right here which is really nice because now when I'm up here running I'm not having to reach way back here I can just get to it right here and that is gonna be super nice guys 
So this makes the tiller models even more functional. So really like this change. Way to go, Tatsu. So like I said, we've got the uh, 25 horse Tahatsu. This is going to push two uh, grown folks about 30 miles an hour in this boat, uh, depending on load, current, and all that kind of stuff. So I like to tell people 28 to 30 is exactly where the boat ought to be. Uh, you've got the transom mounted polling platform. This gives you the most room on the back of the boat that's possible. And then right here you have welded on rod holders. You've got one on each side. So you've got four vertical rod holders, I mean four vertical rod holders. And then you'll have two, four horizontal rod holders. So you've got capacity for eight rods on this boat. It's a ton of space. You've got your pickup for your live well back down here. And it's really easy to see. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to shut the lights off, show you guys what the courtesy lights and live well lights look like. And uh, also this boat has the new LED shark eyes. So we've got the LED shark eyes right here, guys. These are the new setups. They look super, super cool. Really clean, nice install. Uh, and they are extremely bright. So let me turn them on real fast. Boom. Really nice, really clean. We've got the lights off in the warehouse, and let's take a look. Boom. This lights up everything so, so well. If you're going to do a lot of night fishing like we do in here, this is, I feel like, an absolute must. Or if you're going to be just in the Delta. I like the green because it's, it doesn't give you fire blindness, and I can see what I'm doing in it really well. I like this a lot. I'm going to pick up the camera now. I'm going to kind of move it around. Uh, the camera kind of doesn't show. It does do a good job of kind of lighting up the rest of what's going on. But this does a really good job. But let's check out the live well setup. We've got it with the new lighting system in it, which is really, really cool. So I'm going to flip the cushion over and open it up. Ah, very nice. That came out really nice. So... You've got that nice blue LED live well. It's lit up really well in there. So that is a nice combo. And this is going to come on whenever you're turning on your uh, courtesy lights. So that's a nice setup. So let's take a look. I've got everything lit up now. We've got the LED anchor light. Super bright. Really nice. We're going to come on around. All right, check out the way these LED, sorry about that guys, bad bump. All right, nice, I'm liking that a lot. So those are the new LED navigation lights, the interior lights, live well lights, this thing is really well set up and done. All right guys, I wanna thank y'all for watching. If you guys have any questions, you can call us here at the store at Delta Marine and Outfitters. Um, you can look us up online at deltamarineoutfitters.com. Um, also, too, remember we do have a full service fly shop here in the store. We do have the Lost Angler Fly Shop. So you've got everything you could possibly ask for. We've got new canoe kayaks, custom ginu, all nine yards. But if you liked what you saw, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or call the store, like I said. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you on the water.